Today we're at the Goulburn River upstream of McCoy's uh, Bridge and we're looking at the uh, diversity of the invertebrates in the Goulburn River and the emergent invertebrates that come from the Goulburn River. Today we've used three different methods for sampling macroinvertebrates in the Goulburn River. So we've used artificial substrates to look at macroinvertebrate colonisation. We've used replicated edge sweep sampling to look at what macroinvertebrates are occurring along the different edge habitats within the stream. And we're also using yellow sticky traps, which are adhesive cards that we tie up in vegetation in the riparian zone to have a look at how environmental flows might be affecting the emergence of macroinvertebrates from the river and also how um, by promoting vegetation growth within the riparian zone, how that might be affecting terrestrial macroinvertebrates, which could also be an important fish food. So we're looking at environmental flows primarily and how does that change the production of insects in our system. It is quite interesting. We, we're able to collect different stages of animals. So we look at the larval and also the adults. So the larvals are things like our midges, which are called coronamids, and then we have mayflies, there's a leptoflebs or betidae as we, we call them, and also the yabbies, the prawns, and the shrimp is another one that we collect in this sample. So it's quite interesting that the animals that you get. So the artificial substrates are basically a cage made out of plastic with onion bags inside them, which we use as a substrate. And we deploy these in the river and what happens is over a period of about six weeks um, different macroinvertebrates will come out and colonise the substrates and then we can pull them up after six weeks and have a look at um, the diversity and abundance of macroinvertebrates that have come along and decided to live in these. And take those samples away for identification in the laboratory. Once the environmental flow goes through we then do the same again, we deploy artificial substrates to see how the environmental flows have changed the community in those artificial substrates. The environmental flows are hoping to increase the production of the invertebrates which will increase the health of the fish which will increase the abundance and the um, diversity of fish which not only helps the fishermen to catch the fish but it actually makes the river a lot healthier system if we've got all, all those things working together to, to create a healthy system. Mm -hmm.